Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that a few of you have noticed and asked me about is, uh, first of all, the change in some of the processors that have been removed from supported hardware in Windows 11. So um, first of all, let me just say something is that Intel Xeon processors, so these are 8th generation, and these have been added to the list of unsupported hardware. So even though they are 8th generation, they are added to a list that apparently makes them unsupported, which means they would be uh, not get actually the 23H2 update, basically, unless you do it manually. But let me stress out that these are mostly used in servers and, uh, and, and IN machines. There isn't really, you know, there shouldn't be most of the time, uh, or there should be very little uh, standard, you know, just regular users and, and Windows users having these processors in their computers, as these are really for workstations mostly and servers, like I was saying. So not to worry, you're probably not affected. Most people are not affected. But it kind of raises a question of if Microsoft decides to add a series of CPUs that used to be supported and move it to the unsupported, um, you know, what it could do in the future concerning the users, uh, you know, the standard hardware that we have every day. Could they change their mind on what the minimum requirement is? Yeah, technically it could happen, but um, I don't know. Uh, some people are saying that it could be a mistake, but I don't know. Is it or not? Um, we'll see as time goes by, but they have been added. 44 CPUs have been added to the uh, unsupported. Now, I also get quite a few of you saying and asking about uh, unsupported going away. Um, I don't know where um, maybe that information is coming from, but there are some people saying that they've kind of seen that the, uh, the Microsoft would prevent unsupported hardware. I don't think that's going to happen personally. I think the unsupported hardware, hardware trick that people can actually use is there for a reason. Uh, they let it go because it kind of eases the pain and the the backlash of people not being happy, not being able to get Windows 11 on some older PCs. What could go away, and that, that, that's a possibility. We know that with the image, the uh, disk image that you can download from Windows 11 from Microsoft website, it lets you go through a certain number of hoops of unsupported hardware. Um, one thing that could happen is that maybe they could remove that from the official images but the Rufus um, software, will it be able to actually remove that? But uh, there's no indication, really. I haven't seen any indication that Microsoft would back off and say that unsupported hardware uh, is not going to be uh, available in Windows 11 anymore in the future. Um, I think it's going to stay like it is right now uh, for the lifespan of Windows 11. And, you know, who knows, maybe even Windows 12 in the future. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.